All right, what's up guys? I am here today working on my 2001 WJ and as you can see it has a sunroof that leaks. So I'm guessing that it's the drain tubes. Um, somewhere there's tubes that run down the A pillars and probably back there the C pillars as well. Um, so I'm going to dig into it and see what I find. So the first step is going to be to get rid of the uh, this guy here. Drop that down, drop this down, and uh, see if I can bring the uh, headliner down a little bit and uh, pull these A-pillar panels off. All right, so it's a little noisy out here today. I'm working out in the driveway. I don't know if you can see that giant axle that, that dude's hanging there from that uh, forklift. But I shared this building with J.R. McNeil, he's a monster truck guy, ice cream man, raising cane, a couple other trucks they build. We're going to need a uh, T15 Torx to get this uh, visor down. Alright, there's that. you can see this but this blue tube here is the one that apparently gets all clogged up oh yeah and look at that it's broken right, and Jim, check this tomorrow. look at this exactly what they said in the forum that it just fucking breaks and it's oh, in a piece that's what they use here's the culprit look at that it just breaks up into a zillion pieces it's super super <laughs> what, a, what a junk See it, but there's a screw right here. All right, so this upper center console thing, it's just got one screw in it, and it just pops out. So what that's doing is allowing me to drop this down. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the other side down. All right, so quick overview. I took off, just snapped this out, pulled this out, took off the grab handle. That was here. Took off the visor, and now I can drop it down. And you can see right up in there where someone has already replaced this one with a smaller tube, which looks actually a little bit small. So we'll have to get up in there and see how that actually attaches. But now I don't know if there's other drain tubes or not. There may be ones at the back. All right, so I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I can focus in on that. Way you can see in the corner over there, there's a little bit of blue right there. See that? So there is drain tubes at the back. So technically, the back's going to have to get dropped as well and fix those, which I'm sure are just as brittle. Someone already replaced this one with a vinyl tube. It's kind of small. So I'm gonna see if I can use that one and uh, pull out, pull a new one through. Pop this floor trim off here. It just pops off. Get a pile of trim here, and then it uh, looks like this this piece here, this kick panel piece, it's got a couple screws here. So I'll pop those out. All right, so there's someone's fix. And I imagine this this blue plastic down here is probably fine. It's just when it's up there in that A pillar, getting roasted by the sun. So I could just probably just leave this, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and replace it all at the same time. But hopefully, when I'm wiggling it down there. It's wiggling up there, so I should be able to just pull that right through. All right, so in my case, somebody had this jammed up into the sunroof. We just saw a drip coming out of there. They had, they had this hose 
is jammed into that hole with a bunch of goo. And uh, I wonder why it wasn't draining out of here. And I just noticed that we did have a lot of rain. We actually had record rain. You can see the water in my floor, so I'm gonna have to really let this air out. And there's just this little grommet here that drains down into the frame actually, which is kind of lame because I couldn't feel that from up underneath so it actually drains into a, a hole in the floor there and then it must just run down through the frame rails and drip out somewhere. So I'm gonna run up to the store and get some tubing. All right, so I got myself some 3 8 inside diameter, half inch outside diameter, clear vinyl tubing. Happens to be a 20 foot roll, and I got myself a 3 8 by 3 8 barb. My hope is that I can stick this in the old pipe, stick it on the new pipe, and pull it through in that dash area. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so for this one, this one already had the smaller tube that somebody had replaced. I just was able to fish it right into the new one, and we'll see if I can weasel it on through there. I'm gonna set up my phone somewhere. They might have had a little glue on here from the factory. So this is the piece that goes down on the floor. All right, so there is the, this is the drain coming out of the sunroof. Here's my new line. And this half inch hose is actually pretty, pretty tight on here. I'm gonna have to really work in here. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do is take my heat gun here and soften up this tube and see if I can get it to go over that uh, nipple coming off of the sunroof. So I just cannot get it on. So this happens to be my heat gun that I use for heat shrink tubing. So I think it's ready to go. Alright, let's see if we can slide this baby on there. It's over it. All right, so I went and grabbed these out of my toolbox. You can pick these up at, you know, auto parts store. And uh, that worked really well to get up on there. And uh, get that on there, so. So boom, there it is. Boop, there it is. Time for the other side. All right, so this is the uh, driver's side. Floor, floor nipple. And I'm putting one of these hose clamps on because this pretty loose sliding over that factory nipple with this 3 8 hose this is gonna ride there but I could not get it up where it was from the factory it was up inside there fish down and so all I was all I did was pulled this seal off here and uh, I was able to fish it around up here and down through there and kind of tuck it right in you can kind of barely see it right there Right there. Put the seal back and you won't even notice it. So I, I struggled for about 30 minutes and couldn't get it. So the boom, there you go. So now I just gotta run it up. So this is looking inside this tube. You can see it's almost completely clogged. And this was the connection on this. Uh, blue pipe here this was over that like that and then this was up and it was up inside here under that so I don't know how they expected that to uh, to work for too long I was able to get that on there again using using these guys it helped now I'm going to take this piece that was on there from the factory and see if I can slide this over too. And that'll give it a little... There we go. Yeah, so that'll give it a little extra. That thing's not going to leak there. There we go. Right. So 
So that's pretty much guaranteed that it's not gonna leak. All right, check it out. I just sprayed a little bit of water. All right. Sweet. All right, the tubes are all in. And uh, just gotta put this all back, back in the reverse order. So I'm really not gonna film that. It's pretty obvious how things go back together. Screw everything back in. A couple of screws and you are good to go. Okay, so putting this all back together, uh, running that tube down and on the outside of the dash here, instead of down through where the factory one was, um, there is no sign of it at all and it's not pinching it at all either. So it's, it's hidden behind there, comes down. And then uh, you can see if there were some, some drops left in it. So, I'm looking right there. Looks like, looks like my hose clamp did not work. So, see that little bit of water there. So I'm gonna have to uh, work on that joint. Okay, so the hose clamp that I had on here just did not seal up enough onto this so this one the blue pipe came in onto here and this was fitted through there and the blue pipe came on and that went down in the hole so what I'm kind of seeing here is this this one has a barb on this end that was down in the hole and that blue pipe was was uh, glued up in here so it looks like I could actually just turn this around stick this in here stick this in this way onto that barbed end and then this other end basically flip it upside down and stick through there like that and it's not super tight but you know it's not gonna go anywhere and at least the water is flowing out of the Jeep whereas right now I still have a very wet floor so I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna reverse this around. See if I can get this in through here. Yeah. All right. So I can see that that's making a really nice seal on there. I don't think any water is gonna get past that. And then I'm just gonna stick this through there like that. It's not super tight on there, but use a screwdriver to seat this seal down in there. And that should be good to go. I'll probably do another hose test just to make sure. I obviously have a lot of cleaning up to do here, but if you uh, like the video or if it helped you out, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would uh, really appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video to my channel where we cover everything from uh, this WJ build, hot rod stuff, uh, motorcycles, boats, fabrication, art, and a few other things. So uh, stay tuned. Peace out.